And now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. 545. That means we're one minute away from our sunrise. It's trying to sneak up here in Door County. Part of our Skyview Network camera showing it this morning. Powered by Pella Windows and Doors. Sturgeon Bay is at 62. Calm winds. Look at that. It's just a gorgeous morning. But our second half of the day probably won't be... Uh, like this, we are going to have some showers and thunderstorms around. Right now, we are dry, mostly clear. Some clouds moving into Rhinelander right now, and there are some showers off that direction, which I'll be tracking for you in just a second here. But most of the area just partly sunny for the morning hours. 82 at lunch, 82 degrees already. That's going to be very mild for today. 85 or near that for the daytime high. Thunderstorms developing after that through the afternoon and evening. Now, our early morning temperatures as you step out the doors, 57 in Mountain, about 66 Appleton, low to mid 60s from Sturgeon Bay all the way to Sheboygan. And our dew point values really aren't too bad right now, so it's not extremely muggy, but those values continue to uh, bump upward. Dew point is the measure of moisture in the atmosphere, and today we're going to have plenty of it, and this is going to be the fuel for some thunderstorms. Now, much of the Midwest already seeing some muggy weather um, in the 60s in Wichita, Kansas, already at 70 with the dew point. But you see in Canada how dry it's getting right behind, let's say, International Falls there. That's a cold front. And that cold front will be hiding some of this dry air. But it, in the meantime, it's going to be cutting through the moisture-rich atmosphere uh, through Wisconsin, eventually placing us in the less humid air already by tomorrow. But the cold front cutting through that muggy air also being the uh, lifting mechanism for showers and storms. So you see what's developed out ahead of it. As this race is in front of it, it'll be losing some steam before moving into our area. However, we may carry a shower there earlier. But later today, as that slides southward and we get some daytime heating going, uh, that's when our the risk for thunderstorms will be much greater. Now, radar network dry right now, but Futurecast doing a good job as tracking those showers. You see how it just kind of clips the northern area through the later morning? Not a huge deal for us. Much of the area, though, Green Bay, the Fox Cities, Lakeside should stay completely dry. There's that cold front, though. Four o'clock in the afternoon, three, four o'clock, let's say, it starts to fire up. And then this moves southward from there. Five, six o'clock, reaching Green Bay in the valley. And then the later evening, we may carry a few of these. Uh, around, but the southern sections and lakeshore sections will get this lastly uh, compared to everywhere else. Severe risk for today, we're, we're in the slight risk category, which means an additional heavy rain, possibly some large hail if we get these storms to develop, and strong gusty winds will be uh, with us for today. So we're going to be watching for that later on. We're in the moderate category for rain chances today. Thursday, Friday is dry in the low category with another stray shower chance on Saturday. And then for the back half of the weekend, early next week, looking pretty nice dry weather there. So for today, partly sunny. Thunderstorms develop later on. We'll have highs well into the 80s everywhere with west to southwest winds, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tonight, a few evening thunderstorms, then partly cloudy overnight as we dry out. Bottoming out at about 62. Here's your seven-day forecast. Breezy tomorrow, less humid and sunny. 77 Thursday. 78, that's the pick day of the week on Friday as we calm our winds down a little bit Saturday. Another stray thunderstorm, a high of 80 degrees as we begin the weekend.